Please support the Feraldred Army. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Meow. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Olfis, and today we're going to be talking Agatha in the Mage Tower. I wasn't going to do a video about this because it is actually very easy, and there are quite a few guides out there already, but I've had some people ask me for my opinion on Agatha, so here it is. Here's somebody in the community who I helped. They were about 916, 918 item level, and they had the two legendaries that I prefer. The necklace, which puts an absorb shield on you. You're going to be good. The symbiote belt, which does increased damage, and it heals you to targets who are above 90% health. And this is a good legendary combo. You can go with a few others, like you can get Chetoyants, you can get whatever, I don't know, you can mix and match. It's it's easy when to get to 925, so legendaries don't play the biggest part. You can get the Lufas. But here, the the first part here is going Incarn, pre-potting, and just doing as much damage as possible. There's actually no Incarn yet, but you know, as soon as those first three ads come up, it's all about Thrash and Brutal Slash and any other ad for that matter you want to have a bleed on them because the talent that you need to pick for the first row is Predator. And this will reset the cooldown on your Tiger's Fury and it'll allow you to apply it again after killing somebody with a bleed on them. So if you don't already know, you know. And now we're getting back on Ab Agatha here after taking down those healing ads, relatively easy. That is important. This is all. This is about what you do for the first part here. You get the, the initial ads down, and then you DPS her. And as you see here, it got to 50%, and now she's bubbling and casting. You need to get that bubble down, and then interrupt her. For these ads, the fluming ads, it's best to like kind of kite them. You can root them up, but they die very quickly. If you got the brutal slashes, and you want to use it, don't use it only on a fluming imp. You don't have to waste your. Uh, Brutal Slash like recharge on an imp like when there's going to be a lot of imps spawning in a second. So what you can do is take the Fluming Amp, um, buy all the other imps, Brutal Slash it down, or you can shred it to death. So don't use your Brutal Slash because that's a strong AoE that you should be using on big packs. So if you can get three, you can pretty much one shot any pack. But it's a lot of damage here. Uh, um, getting away from the meteors, putting your bleeds up, and here Displacer Beast came in handy to hop all the way across, but this part is the easiest. Phase 2 I thought was simple. Phase 1 I always like, when I first did it, when the Mage Tower first came out, I was fucking petrified, man. But now, like, Phase 2 just seems pretty simple. She goes from one side to the other, making the adds have to run across the room as well, so it gives you time to kill adds while you're making your way across. It's nifty man it's nifty but here getting all the other ads down the umbral limps because those will prevent you from doing damage to her and then after that killing her i don't know if those are umbral but there's a few different sets of imps there's the ones that cast like fireballs at you and the fireballs get harder and harder so you have to kill those and then there's the umbral imps i believe which are the ones that put a shield on her and uh, make her immune to attacks in a way but it's just like easy to get them down if you're using predator and brutal slash because brutal slash is crazy and this fight is nowhere near as hard as it was when it first came out especially if you've been hitting up argus or heroic tumas argaris and getting some heroic gear and i would get this skin before the end of the expansion because they announced that you can transmog your artifact weapon really hoping that doesn't mean you get to transmog your daggers to look like those daggers the fangs of ashman I want the fucking skins, guys. But here we go. Agatha's just about to go down. Brutal slashing all these imps down. You got all the bleeds on there. That's perfect. And they will die. Give you Tiger's Fury. You can use that to increase your energy and damage. And you got a constant flow of DPS. Look at that. The Fluming Imp went off. But at this stage in the game, it doesn't matter. That sucker can burst and get all over the floor. But there's Agatha down. That's the video. If you enjoyed it and you want to join the Feral Druid Army, subscribe to the page. It's pretty sweet. I'm trying to get a lot more Feral Druid videos out. I'm going to be playing Feral in Classic, most likely, and in Battle for Azeroth in the future. There's a lot more to come. See you next time. Peace.